our Master Science with Dietetic Internship, or MSDI, prepares students for many areas within the field of dietetics and beyond. Because we're such a well-rounded program, it does allow students to explore different avenues of dietetics and beyond when they go out um, and find a job. You want to ensure that any student who has any interest would be able to sit down and be eligible for a role at the end of our program. We're really lucky here at UNH. We have a lot of cutting edge technology that our students have access to. Our program goes well beyond theory. We really focus on the application of knowledge within our courses and our curriculum. Many students come to us with an idea of what they're passionate about, but more often than not, they find new passions. Our curriculum is designed to prepare students for a whole host of jobs when they graduate. Um, we cover lots of different areas within the field of dietetics, how food gets to someone's plate, the choices that people make to, in terms of what foods that they choose, the pathophysiology of different disease states and how we can prevent chronic disease. And then there's research as a focus to make sure that we are evidence-based in what we are recommending to our clients and our patients. So to enhance the learning and skill development of our students in the first year, all core curriculum courses do have an experiential learning component. Students take a counseling course, and as part of that course, they are assigned a volunteer community member who's interested in nutrition counseling. Asking and answering their own research question and then presenting that at a conference. Our students do mentorship, they mentor undergraduates, and they also mentor someone within the MSDI program. They're gonna be practicing in the hospital setting through our simulation lab. And that provides an opportunity for the student to walk into a room that looks like a hospital room, practice doing your patient interviews, nutrition-focused physical exams, patient educations. Being a teaching assistant within the first year. We also have culinary spaces, so we have a teaching kitchen that is used throughout our program, as well as a kitchen that we use to repurpose food and give that food to the community. Something that we offer that differentiates us from other programs is the nutrition assessments that we do. So we do nutrition assessments on undergraduate students and other individuals like those that are volunteer clients. Your faculty that would be teaching your courses have had really successful and impactful careers. They can connect their prior experiences working as a nutrition professional with the course they're teaching. They get an idea of where your strengths and your opportunities may be and the areas that seem to be your interest. During the first year, students have an opportunity to select two elective courses that support areas of nutrition that they're interested in and their professional goals. We find that our students are really well prepared because they've gained skills and importantly confidence within that first year foundation. In the second year of our program, that's the classical internship experience. And then we go into um, food service management for six weeks at the award-winning dining halls here on campus. And our dining halls are really committed to sustainability. And our interns are able to help with many of those sustainable efforts within that rotation. Then community for eight weeks. During our community rotation, students have an experience at two different community sites. They will provide community education. We have opportunities in local school districts. They might be working with health teachers, health coaches. And then in your last semester, it'll be 14 weeks of clinical. Students will go to clinical rotations that are 100 bed or more. Um, and we even have a level one trauma site here in New Hampshire that our students go to. 
Skills Week allows us to sort of shake out some nerves prior to starting at our hospital sites. We review the basics such as entering the patient's room, all the way to more complex skills such as nutrition-focused physical exam. We also learn exciting new skills such as how to place an enteral feeding tube on a patient and conducting swallow screens. None of these skills are taught in a lecture format and they're all hands-on workshops. And they build up their clinical knowledge and acuity so that at the end of the rotation they are doing a staff relief. In the second year, after they have experienced rotations in food service, community, and clinical, they are able to finish the program with an elective rotation in their area of choice. And we are really lucky. We have some amazing preceptors here in New Hampshire. And many have been preceptors for our program for five, ten years. Uh, so they have long-standing relationships with us. And I think that's really important. What makes a student successful is that open conversation with a student about how they're doing, what are their fears, what are the things they think they're working on, what are the things they think they're really excelling at. Um, so to have preceptors that are familiar with the program and have worked a long time with us, I think it's a big value. So our program also prepares students to take the RDN exam. All the different domains of the RDN exam are covered within our program. Following them through that journey, supporting them through that journey, students are going into new environments they haven't seen before. They're meeting a lot of new people. Proof is in the pudding. We do have a really high success rate within their pass rate in their first try and then the first year of taking the RDN exam. So many of our assignments, our mentorship, and our experiences are really designed so that students are going to grow as a person and as a professional. The best part of this experience for me is the students. It's really wonderful to watch the students grow from when they first come into the program to when they've graduated and they're off in their professional careers. If a student comes to our program when they walk out, they've had the acuity to be eligible for an entry-level dietitian position. I'm really looking forward to watching the growth and development of our future students. I cannot wait to welcome you here at UNH in the fall.